A senior citizen looking for health insurance kept striking out until two on your side got involved. CBS 2's Christine Lazar joins us now with why she was denied, Christine. Well, Rick and Elsa, this viewer simply fell through the cracks in our health care system. Her current insurer is pulling out of California, and the option she was left with was either go without insurance or buy a policy that consumer activists call junk insurance. Anita Stotts is willing to pay almost anything for decent health insurance. The problem is she can't find any. I've never not had insurance. All my life I've had insurance. Desperate, the retiree asked for two on your side to help. Because I'm getting nowhere. Her problem started back in October when her insurer, Anthem Blue Cross, sent her a letter telling her they are pulling out of California for individual policies effective January 1st. So she says she was told by Covered California to call Blue Shield, which is still in the marketplace. And after spending two hours on the phone with Blue Shield and going round and round with her different agents, um, I found out that they will not cover me. The reason? Blue Shield told Stotts she was ineligible because she is currently enrolled in Medicare. Problem is, she isn't. She doesn't turn 65 until February, leaving Stotts without health insurance for a month. Would you feel comfortable going without insurance? I'm scared to death to go without insurance. Stotts was told she could apply for short-term or gap insurance, but when she looked into the policy recommended to her by Anthem... It had 56 reviews, and all 56 were one-star reviews, and they were all horror stories. That's why Jerry Flanagan with Santa Monica-based Consumer Watchdog calls gap insurance junk insurance. This is a case where no coverage may be better than something, because these limited policies are still quite expensive in the premium, but if you get sick, you're going to pay much more out of pocket. Flanagan says gap insurance typically has low caps on coverage and sky high deductibles. We knew a woman who had a coverage uh, like this who had a chemotherapy writer. Her husband passed away from cancer and they were left with a $400,000 medical bill. For Stotts, it's not a gamble she's willing to take. If I can't find a resolution, my only thought is to shut the door and Stay inside for the month of January. Well, the good news is Two on Your Side got her a resolution. We contacted the Department of Insurance on her behalf, and they notified us that it's illegal under Obamacare for an insurance company to deny coverage to anyone who wants to purchase it. So what Blue Shield did was against the law. The Department of Insurance contacted Blue Shield, and within minutes, they reversed their decision and offered Stotts a policy. She is now insured for the month of January until she qualifies for Medicare. Now, Blue Shield says it was human error. It was not deliberate. Either way, that's been reversed, so she won't have to stay indoors for a month. Yeah, and quickly, which is even better. Now yes, yes, very fast. Health. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Christine. Can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem, or on Twitter, you can use the hashtag Two on Your Side, and we will see what we can do to help you solve your problem.